Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson again, and we are going to continue our studies. This time we're talking about addition of decimals. Here are the steps for adding decimals. Step one, align all decimal points vertically. That's underneath each other. So we're going straight down. Step two, write zeros so that all decimals have the same number of digits to the left and to the right of the decimal point. Step three, given a whole number, add a decimal point at the end. So sometimes we do have whole numbers, so we may have to add a decimal point. Step four, the final step, then add the columns, leaving the decimal in the same position in the answer. So let's try some examples. So here's one. Step one, I mean, find the sum of 3.026 plus 4.7 plus 1.38. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to line up the decimals. So we're going to line them up in straight lines. So here is our numbers, 3.026, 4.7, 1.38. So notice I have all the decimals lined up straight in order. So that's my first step. So now I have to add zeros because if you notice, there's some spaces missing and some numbers missing. So I need zero as placeholders for those spots so I can add nice and evenly. So it's not all over the place. The numbers don't look scrambled. So notice I added three zeros, two zeros up to 4.07, which leaves it as the same number. So it doesn't change. You may add as many zeros as you like. So you have to balance. So, and I added one zero to 1.38. So now I have enough spaces that are taken up. It's all even, and now I can add it up. So now find the sum. So I'm going to add it up. Six plus zero is zero. That'll give me six. Two plus zero plus one. That'll give me ten. Carry the one. One plus seven is eight. Plus Three is 11, carry the 1, and 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and don't forget the one I carried, that'll give me 9. So I'll get 9.106. So there's my number. So remember, align the decimals first, get them all in a straight line, add zeros where necessary. Sometimes you have to add it on the left side of the decimal as well as the right, and then Add up your numbers as you normally would do. So there's our answer, 9.106. So here's a question for you to try. Find the sum of 0 0.445 plus 8.3, I'm sorry, 8.9 plus 3. And I notice 3 is a whole number, so it doesn't have a decimal point. So remember, you have to add a decimal point at the end. So good luck. Try that one. So check your understanding. If you understand it so far, you're in good shape. But if not, rewatch the video, write down your questions, bring them in. I'll be glad to answer them tomorrow. Here's another one you can try. Here's another whole number, 7. Don't forget to add the decimal point at the end. Plus 11.436 plus 3.08. Here's a game we're going to play. It's a little matching game here. So I have some terms here. And I want you to match them, put the balloons in here to see which goes with which. So this is a very nice game we'll be playing in class. So I hope you got something out of our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, write your questions down. I'll be glad to answer them. So this is Dr. Robinson signing off.